Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel. I know I've been away, but here I am today. So it's nice to see you all. Um, yeah, it's it's been a weird little time. I'm not really going to go into the details of it. Uh, I was away from my phone for a couple days. Um, the Silverhearts gig never happened. Uh, I guess Charlie, our piano player, hurt his leg and a bunch of people bailed after he decided he couldn't play or something like that. I just don't know. I, all I heard was that we're not playing. So, and that Charlie hurt his leg. So, I got snuff. I've been snuffing this morning. I got snuff all over my mustache. It means I need to shave. Um, yeah, I was going to do a dry snuff review today. Um, like I said, I was snuffing a bit this morning to get the get the gears going, and all I ended up doing was uh, very heavily congesting myself, because I I, the snuff I was using wasn't mentholated, so now, now I'm all stuffy. <laughs> but it's cool, because I got something else to review, um, since, since we're here. Um, Hillary Thompson uh, occasionally sends me a couple cans of dip here and there, and uh, she usually sends me stuff that she knows I like, you know, like, like she sends me Copenhagen snuff, and she, sent me, she sends me like Skull Peach and uh, Skull Wintergreen or the Fine Cut Wintergreen, you know, lots of, lots of Bobby Stokers, she always sends me some Bobby Stokers. And, uh, but every now and then, uh, she throws in something that she knows I've never tried before, and, uh, that I'll get a chance to, one, try out, and two, talk about on my channel here. Now, the, the first, uh, she sent, as of late, she sent me two cans of dip that I've never, I had never tried before. Um, one of them was the Kayak Peach I reviewed last week. Um, it's in my freezer right now. Um, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for a day when when I need it. <laughs> so, um, but the other now the other product she sent. Uh, I know it's well. I knew before I opened it that it was gonna be a good product uh, because I like the brand. I like I like ev pretty much everything I've had by the brand. Um, and I've had, what have I had? I've had, oh, well, the brand is Grizzly. I've had, uh, Grizzly Wintergreen, Grizzly Mint, Grizzly Straight, like Grizzly P Premium Wintergreen, Premium Mint, Premium Straight. Um, I've had all the dark ones, the dark select, the dark wintergreen, the dark mint, um, I've had Grizzly Pouches, I've had uh, Grizzly Long Cut Natural, um, I don't know, I've had a good variety of Grizzlies. Uh, I'll say, you know, when it comes to, to dip, like flavored dips, uh, mint, the mint dips are usually my favorite uh, all across the board. Um, and I really don't like Grizzly Mint very much. I like the dark, their dark mint a lot. But the regular mint, the premium mint, it's not very good. It's not bad, but it's not, not very good. For There's better ones out there. Um, you know, like, like Grizzly Mint is like, like a junior whopper. And, and say Copenhagen Mint is like a double whopper, you know, <laughs> I don't know, put it in fast food analogies, but uh, anyhow, yeah, so hold on just for a second, I had to get my purple drink, and the, the Liberté coconut yogurt container, uh, glassware to it. So, 
first we're gonna, you know, like it's funny because Grizzly Snuff, it's obviously trying to copy uh, Copenhagen Snuff, like. And when you look at the lid, it's an all-silver lid, aside from the black. You now, the Copenhagen lid is an all-silver lid. I think the Copenhagen lid wins out far above the Grizzly lid. Um, I don't... I, I like the all-silver, not... I don't... Not as much as... I like this better than this. That's what I'm trying to say. Um... The coloring around the side where all the branding and information is on the Copenhagen is the same color as it is on the Grizzly brand. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess they're just trying to copy copy Copenhagen, really. Um, the big difference to me is that this is in a plastic can. Now, one of the beautiful things about Copenhagen snuff is, that, is this fiberboard can. Um... And the last one of these I had was really tight. Like, you, I could carry it in my back pocket, no problem. So maybe this one will be the same. But, uh, yeah, like, the the because the, this can, like, on the inside of this card, well, cardboard can, it's covered in this wax. Like, it's this thick coating of, of wax to keep the, the can sturdy, right? So you can take the snuff and when you pinch it you kind of pinch it and press it up against the side of the can just to get it all steady in your fingers and then you dip it the wax really helps hold it together from my experience um, so Grizzly doesn't have that but Grizzly's cans are really good these are very good quality plastic cans very good quality lids they're much like the Stoker's lid with the, the thin the thin rail thing around it's like they snap they when they like they snap on really tight so there you go and that's the cut it's a snuff cut for sure definitely and there's a couple of bigger chunks in there but it's definitely a snuff cut um it's got something stupid written inside the lid mocha 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 shush honey honey Anyhow, a good way to, to dip snuff, this is one way, because um, you're going to make a bit of a, more of a mess of it with long cut if, you know, if you're not careful. So you use that lid kind of like a catch lid. Yeah. Oh, yeah, whenever I pack snuff, um, usually, this is usually how I pack dip, but this is how, you know, I, I got that from packing snuff. I don't, I don't do the whole poppity pop, pop, pop thing, you know so much as doing that and that should pack this can of snuff quite nicely and it's well <laughs> it's still a pretty full can so it didn't really do much but anyhow it's got a great moisture level um it's it's really moist for a can of snuff and i suspect it'll keep that moisture level a little longer than a can of copenhagen would so yeah, you just pinch a pinch a bit. And you pinch a bit more. And if you live dangerous, pinch a bit more. Mocha. Anyhow, all right, so it's definitely um, a natural snuff taste. Um, I'm trying to remember what the long cut tasted like. It wasn't so different than this. One thing I noticed about the Grizzly long cut natural is it's a little bit sweeter than uh, Copenhagen. Um, and that's definitely the same case with the snuff. Um, it's a, it's a, for a natural, which is, are not very sweet. Um, it's definitely, I don't know, something about the tobacco maybe is a little bit sweeter. Something about, I don't know, something, it's a little bit sweeter than Copenhagen snuff, okay? Um, 
to my taste. Um, yeah, so it's not quite as salty. Um, Copenhagen snuff is a very, very salty dip. You know, uh, not as salty as Stoker's fine cut natural. It's not quite a snuff, but it's pretty damn salty. And their long cut, Stoker's long cut natural is really salty too. So this isn't quite like that. Um, I, you know, I'll have to say between the two of them, you know, this is definitely a very good product. And this is definitely something I could dip every day. And, uh, yeah, I would def I would give this, I'd give this a 9 out of 10 on the Dirty Dip, Dipping Scale. Um, because I love natural snuff, um, and this is a good one. But uh, I like Copenhagen snuff a little better, so it gets a, it gets the 10 out of 10 spot. This gets like about a 9 out of 10. And one thing I noticed about this can, now this is why this is why you come to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel, yo. But uh, in the light, I don't know if you can see it. But there's a little scratch coming out of the bear's butt right there. And it looks like he's cutting a fucking fart. <laughs> I, always thought, I thought that was funny since I picked up this. And looked at, first looked at this can. Um, yeah. Holy jumping mocha, what's up? Anyhow. Yeah, so that's that's what I would give this. It's a um, it's a really nice natural snuff. Um, it's a premium product, good product. It you know, little sweeter than Cope snuff, little less salty than Cope snuff. Um, I guess okay, it's a little more bland than Copenhagen snuff. Let's just put it that way. It's just a little bit more bland, you know, and, uh, but that's okay, no, this is, this is a nice, easy, easy going dip, you know, I'm gonna probably keep this dip in for at least an hour or two, and, uh, yeah, it's a good one, so thank you very much for this can of snuff, Hillary, uh, this is really, really great, um, I never tried it before, and, and we fell in love. <laughs> um, yeah, it's great. It's great. So thanks a lot. Um, so yeah, what else is going on? I think I'm hanging out with my buddy Glenn today. Uh, I don't think either of us have really done very much uh, since our camping trip the other weekend. So <laughs> maybe it's... Well, you know, we're like, yeah, we've done stuff, you know, but it might be nice to get out of the house a bit. I'm getting a little cabin feverish sitting here. I've been, I've been in my own place for quite, uh, quite a few days now. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for coming and watching me here on the Dirty Pat Walsh channel. And I appreciate it all. I appreciate your views. appreciate your subscriptions. I got a new subscriber, I guess. Uh, thanks very much for that. I didn't get a notification. Um, please go check out the latest Snuff Strings video. I'm going to try to do this video in, that, in the style of the old school uh, YouTube style rather than do a lot of fancy editing on this. I don't usually do a lot of fancy editing on my vlogs anyway. But... Uh, I mean, I chop things up and put them... Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I'm a very lo-fi operation here in Sound Kitchen Studios. So, anyhow, be well, stay free, have an awesome day. Bye now.